Afternoon campers, welcome back to the channel. Um, you will remember if you follow my channel that last year, last summer, I test flew the Flylight Aeros 9 wing. Holy moly, this thing ships! Oh my god, 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. Which was an incredible piece of kit, so much so that I splashed my own cash out and I've bought one. Um, that seemed like what was an age ago. Anyway, guess what? Have a look. It's arrived and this man here, no promotion, is going to show me how to put it together. So let's crack on with it. Welcome to New Wing Day, folks. Uh, I just need to explain, this is not a step-by-step -step how to rig the nine wing video. Uh, that one I'll probably have to wait for a future date when I'm a little bit more familiar with it. This video is just me sharing my experience of collecting the new wing and also to show you what happens during the handover. I will, however, point out some of the differences between this new wing and my old Fox 13 TL wing and also point out some of the rather ah. clever new design features that Flylight and Aeros have developed into the wing. So in here I have got, so my hang bolt, uh, sorry, hang bracket. There, um, doesn't need much. It's white lube as well. What is that? Because people will ask, won't they? It's white grease. Just white grease. You don't need a lot. So I'm guessing the first thing they need to make the A-frame, isn't it? This is going to be, oh, I don't know what that is, that's the control bar. Yeah. Oh, right. They look familiar. Oh, my 13 CL. This was an absolute pig. Pull and twist. <laughs> okay. So they can only go. So that goes at the top. One, they can only go one way round. So that's the bracket there. Yeah, right. Oh, I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Right, go on. I'm videoing this. Okay. So that goes through there, through there. Just want to isolated nut, and you see the orientation of the hole. Remembering the bolt has to come in from the nose leading edge and the wire has to be on outside of that bracket. So that, that is basically going to end up attached to that side. Yeah. I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> Right, so just to recap what we've done then, we've taken it out of the bag, we've assembled the A-frame, we attached the front flying wires to the nose, we've attached both uh, the two nose uh, battens and we have attached the struts. That's about where we're at, isn't it? Okay, so what's the next thing? Put it on its nose. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. Um, buttons in. Oh, I'll do red. I'll do green. So when ships used to moor up, they always used to moor with the left-hand side of the boat against the port. So that's why that became the port side. And the bit where the steering wheel was, the steerboard was on the right hand side of the ship, starboard. There you go, you see. Uh, what, what sort of retains them at the end? I'll show you when it's fine. Oh, okay. Do. Put it past. And then set it up. Got it. Better like that, right? Yeah, some bloke called Golf Fox Drop 2 has just released a video. I've not watched it yet. Ignore. I'll ignore that. Tension it next. So, yeah. 
Oh, it's up there. <laughs> yeah, it's a completely different position. Wow, so the hook for the tension is in the middle and on the top as opposed to underneath and at the back. Right. So this has got some sort of lever mechanism, hasn't it? Some sort of... Pull Yeah. That's it. So what I've got is the collars where the hang bracket will sit. The hang bracket will sit around here, okay? Um, and that's where you're hanging from. Yeah. At the moment, it's flying on the rearward hang point. Yeah. Now you may remember in my video, I was flying it on the mid hang point. Yeah. And it was doing 60 odd. Here, for your aircraft, a rear hang point, 50-55 is what you'll get out of the rear hang point. So if we move it forward, it changes the hands-off trim setting of the aircraft. So it flies faster. It'll be faster, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So you're now on the slowest setting, which is still 55 miles an hour. Yeah. Is it on? It is on. Cool. Don't worry about zipping it up here. The sprogs can go in now. The reason for it being a broken piece with the end attached is that once you've got the winglet on, you can't get to this, but you can leave the winglets on and de-rig it. But what you have to do is de-link this. This is your broken, this is your tip wand. Yeah. yeah. yeah? You can do it blind from inside the wing. Yeah. So I'm trying to do it with it bobbling around. So that sits in there. Yeah? Yep. And then, like that. Next frog. And you've obviously got these on your Fox. Oh, TL, yeah, haven't you? These. Uh, is, that, is, is there like a transverse yeah. button? Is that stays in place? It stays in it? place, doesn't come out. <laughs> and what you've also got... What actually holds that... Because um, on mine, it's got like a loop that, that, that clips that holds this sprog in place. What, what holds that in place? Sheer tension. Just the tension? And that's it. But you've also got vents. Now, it might be worth showing this. A vent. Okay. This you is can... new, this is new. Yeah, you can take them off or on or have them partially open or partially shut. Right. It's the Velcro flap on the inside. People, people, are, people are going to ask vent, what, what do they do? It changes the control mechanism of allowing air inside the wing. Yeah. So when I've tested mine with the vents open, normally when you get to high speed, sometimes it can get really hard to control. Yeah. This it just felt like Cadillac steering. It was actually smoother and easier to control it at high speed without the, the sort of oscillation side with the vents open, but you do lose a couple of mile an hour off your top end speed. Right. However, we didn't operate there. Yeah, that's true. It's actually incredibly short compared to you. There's a reason for that. I'm a short one. That was easy. That was easy. This is easier. Somebody's actually thought about this, haven't they? Wow. <laughs>so that was me collecting my brand new wing from micro maintenance at Darlymore airfield uh, unfortunately the wind was blowing at 30 miles an hour on the day i collected the wing so i've not had a chance to fly it yet hopefully that will be one of my next videos what i wanted to do though was just to show you some of the clever features that have been designed into the new wing and also give you an appreciation of what happens during a proper thorough wing handover procedure so thank you micro maintenance for doing that for me if you want to see this wing in action and see what all the fuss is about make sure you watch this video next.